Hey folks, um, here's another rendition of Inclusion 2. I'm here with Joe, the drummer, and he's uh, been teaching drums for a really long time, over 30 years. Um, he was on the show uh, like a month and a half ago when this whole pandemic started, but I thought I'd bring him back today to teach us about a little bit, a little bit more about drumming and how to ground down, especially when we're feeling uh, anxious and the fact that one of Joe's greatest teachings is that anyone can drum, uh, no matter what your musical preference is or talent. Um, it's really for everybody. Um, Joe, why don't you lead us away and teach us a thing or two about grounding down with drums? Sure. Well, thanks for having me, Sam. Uh, it's a rainy day out here in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Um, it's hard getting started on days like this, right? I right. Think it's, everybody's in agreement there. And uh, so what I'd like to do is show you a very quick, simple beat that anybody can do, <clears throat> no matter where you are, no matter if you're driving in traffic, no matter if you get lost in the way in the hospital and you have no idea where you're going, mm -hmm. um, or if any type of anxiety feelings or any type of feelings that we have during the pandemic here, there's a lot that, you know, like we, we, we just can't do a lot. Like there's, there's, there's just a lot of stuff we can't do. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that we can do is something that my teacher taught to me and has been researched and has been studied and it is called the stopwatch tap technique. Okay. Now what that really in very simple terms is it gets our right side of our brain and our left side of our brain synchronized and thinking together in one direction. Uh, this is very beneficial to us. Also, when we do the stopwatch tap technique, we can trigger alpha waves in our brain, uh, which, are, which is what happens to us right before we drift off to sleep. Um, now, we have to use some phonetic words to keep track of the beats because we need to play four beats every second. Sounds like a lot. It sounds, it sounds hard, but it's not. The word that we use is Pennsylvania. Okay, there's four syllables in Pennsylvania. So what we do is when we say Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and keep on repeating it, we play Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Okay, so very let's 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 get back to the top. Well, let's get our right hand going. Okay, so what if you have a drum, if you have your steering wheel or your desk, uh, find a comfy spot. Uh, take some nice deep breaths in, always through the nose and out through the mouth. Now, <laughs> hi doggy. Um, again, I said four beats per second. We have to do those four beats per second at 120 beats per minute. Sounds complex, but it's not. Um, just look at the second hand on your clock and double it. Uh, so let me see here. Every second there should be a Pennsylvania, okay? So it's about this fast. Okay, so we're not starting yet. I'm still just demonstrating. Okay, so what we usually do when we're at a drum circle and we can be actually with people again, it seems like forever since that's happened. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> usually what we do is we ask people to allow themselves to check all their problems at the door for a couple minutes, um, to try and leave all of the problems of the world behind just for a few minutes, and let's just give ourselves a few minutes to reset. Um, usually this takes about two and a half to five minutes. Um, and again, it's very simple. We just go from our right hand to our left hand or finger or whatever. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so let's actually do it. Okay, so you at home with me or wherever you may be in your car or whatever, wherever you can do, you can take this with you wherever you go. I'll start us off um, and we're gonna go for, for a good two, two and a half to five minutes or so. Okay, um, get comfy, always make sure you're sitting up nice and straight, okay, 
And uh, let me just let me look at my stopwatch again. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. So we want to have the beats all nice and easy too. All right. Here we go. One, two, ready, go, and. this point we usually ask participants to notice any positive changes they might experience um, to take a few seconds enjoy the silence and then we move on so Joe are there any rhythms that would like trigger happiness in the brain uh, well <clears throat> they all trigger happiness in the brain um, when we play drums together, especially even if it's online together, even if even if we just take a few minutes and we can connect with a few friends on Zoom or wherever, anytime we can do that, anytime we make connection, 
anytime our neurons fire together, they wire together. So if you're having a good time doing this, you can make your brain do all kinds of neat things to make yourself feel really good. Now, Mother's Day just passed two weeks ago, it seems. Um, <clears throat> one of the first beats that we've ever heard was our mother's heartbeat when we were in the womb, okay? And the heartbeat rhythm is very powerful rhythm. Um, it's very slow and it's very meditative and we can play this when we are Going back to the beginning when we're in an anxious state um, so wh when we when we talk about Transformational drum circles or meditative drumming what we're talking about transforming is anxiety into calm. Okay um, Depression into peacefulness Okay um, So like I said anytime our neurons fire together, they wire together because our brains have this wonderful thing called neuroplasticity. So let me get back to the beat. Um, the very first beat that we've ever heard was our mother's heartbeat. Now, we just use the word Pennsylvania to keep track of four beats per second. Now we're gonna use the syllables in, a word, in the word heartbeat. Two syllables, very simply. And we usually play this at a slower tempo, okay? This is to relax people. Um, so the tempo is about this. The, the speed that we will play this is about this fast. Okay? So let's, let's play along here with this one. You, you will say, in your, either in your mind or out loud, I prefer if you say it out loud, say the word heartbeat. Heartbeat. Part B. Ready? Go. this one go for another minute or so. reasons very cool um are there any drum beats for like grounding down getting down to your like say your heart chakra like that get you really deep down inside of yourself well that's a long that that's a question that requires a long answer um yeah, time. <clears throat> but what i would encourage people to do is to research their vagus nerve system okay your vagus nerve system starts on the top of your head and it goes through your neck all the way down, all the way through the middle. Now, we can stimulate our vagus nerve using drumming and sound and chanting. So all of this stuff, depending on what your intention does, helps and plays with your vagus nerve system that runs through your head. That's where I would say to start. It's a really interesting subject. 
it's a really interesting study too because mm -hmm. uh, in Western medicine we don't really hear about the vagus nerve system, but it's there, um, and we can we can direct sound into different places in our body. Um, you, trying to stimulate the vagus nerve system. Um, and that's, it's, that's all we're doing with drumming because it's not just about what we're playing, it's about the sound of the drums. And it's about how the sound interacts with our body's molecules and how our nerves interpret that. Mm -hmm. So when we do this on a regular basis, okay, we can, we can train ourselves and we can set some time, if we can set some time aside for ourselves to, to retrain ourselves, we can always have this to rely on no matter what's happening in the world, no matter if you have money, if you don't have money, if the car's running, if the car's not running, you will always have drumming to rely on. It will always be there um, anytime you need it. The biggest trick is to use it when you need it, is to remember to use it when you need it. It's not always easy when we get emotional or when we get caught up in feelings of hopelessness and despair. Um, I myself have to manage that stuff all the time. Um, some of these things never go away. Uh, it's a lifelong style of brain management and just managing these things without heavy duty uh, psychotic, you know, psychoactive drugs and all kinds of antidepressants and stuff. This is how I deal with that stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's been very beneficial to me and I'm still here after 46 years. So yay for drumming. <laughs> Anything else, Sam? Um, I guess a, a demonstration of how to uh, activate that nervous system you were talking about. Like, what did you say would be like a key beat to really get, get it going? Okay. <clears throat> well, we don't need a drum to do that. Um, what we can do is use the consonant M. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the consonant M and we're going to close our jaw so our teeth and our molars are connected in the back and we're going to hum the word M. Now you might have seen this represented as OM, A-U-M, or O-H-M. It's the, it's the same deal. Um, this is, this is uh, Vegas Nerve Stimulation 101 right here is the, is the sound of OM. But we're going to use the, the letter M for our intent. So basically what we do is we take a nice deep breath in and on our exhale, we're going to vibrate our whole, our whole cranial cavity with, with the letter M, keeping our jaw closed, not clenched, okay? Just like this. Okay, second, now I'm just brushing over this really quick. Wherever we might have an emotional blockage, we're, let, let, let me back up. Say we have pain in our arm. What's the first thing we do? Rub it. Rub it. Rub it. So now, <clears throat> a lot of people hold tension in their shoulders and in their neck. Okay? So what I'm going to ask you to do is get both of your hands on the back, on either side of your neck here. And when you're using the letter M, kind of just direct the sound into the back of your spine here. Okay? Here we go. Ah, see, you can feel it coming. You can feel it in there, right? Yeah, totally. Now, that's where, that's, that's where we get started. Now, people have spent their entire life following this stuff and developing techniques that we can't really cover here in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's whole, there's whole schools of study on this, mm -hmm. but that's the beginning and that's how to get you started. And it's a really fun read. Mm -hmm. are, are there any books out there that you would recommend that you, that you want to learn more techniques? <sighs> Not that I know of. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't have a, a, a manual or anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Put a little note in that rem reminder for later. <laughs> um, just start, I would I would start with a simple Google search um, and use vagus nerve. The way that we spell that is V A G U S vagus nerve, and you're going to have all kinds of medical papers and studies and research materials that will pop up. It's not all in one place either. Mm -hmm. 
I love it. You have you have to dig just a little bit. Mm -hmm. How did you learn about it? Uh, when I was doing drum circle training, um, mm -hmm. it had confirmed something I learned 20 years ago. Uh, I used to hang out with this old lad who was an alcoholic, um, but he claimed he was a failed mystic. And he had turned me on to a book called Paramahansa Yogananda, uh, Metaphysical Meditations. And it was how to get in touch with, you know, the universal consciousness or Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started. Okay. That was 20 some years ago. But when I got, um, when I started to do drum circle facilitation studies, mm -hmm. it was part of it. Sound healing was part of it. And so all the studies that I was reading and everything that I was learning about confirmed what I had already experienced 20 some years ago. So it was like coming full circle, you know? Yeah. And I think that's definitely the secret of music that everything comes full circle. And, um, let's see what else. Um, are there any other nervous systems we should be aware about when it comes to drumming? Well, as you know, like when our, when our sense of fight or flight, when we're in a panic, okay, when, when our sense, it's one of our oldest, our brain's oldest core functions is fight or flight, mm -hmm. okay, and now today we call that anxiety. Um, yeah. when, our, when our nervous systems are in fight or flight, it's very detrimental to our, not, not just our central nervous system, but our entire body. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about, you know, oh, we're not going to make the car payment for another two weeks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about wake up stressed, go to sleep stressed, wake up stressed, go to sleep stressed, wake up stressed, for on and on and on. When adrenaline is constantly coursing through your system, when your blood is up, when, you are, when your body is at high alert because it's ready for fight or flight, it's no good for any of our systems. Mm -hmm. um, it has detrimental effects and it leads to all kinds of Maladies like that, you know, the big ones that we hear, heart attack, stroke, you know, end stage live kidney failure from diabetes and all things that we can, you know, hopefully manage over our time, you know, our short time here on earth. But mm -hmm. I, I would like to definitely, you know, say the stress pandemic has, has far, has, has far more reaching implications than people realize at this moment, because people are off the charts stressed. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I went to pick up a pizza yesterday and there was a guy, he was really close to me and he looked like he was on the edge and I didn't want to say anything to him because I don't want to upset this guy's apple cart at all. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to remember that we get in those states too. Um, you know, we get in a state where it's just like one more thing and mm -hmm. blow up. Right. We got to, we got to remember that other people are like that too. Mm -hmm. Um, we have to be kind to ourselves and we have to remember, just tread lightly with people these days because you just don't know where anybody's at, you know? And if you see somebody struggling, help them out if you can, you know? Right. Did you help that guy out or you just let him be? I put my mask on and I smiled and I casually walked the other way. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Especially when people are hungry too. That's a whole nother, that's a whole, you know, when people yeah, are hungry. Yeah. So I didn't want to upset this guy's apple cart. He looked like he was ready for a fight. So I just didn't say anything. I, I just, I, I got my pizza and I left. Yeah, you, re you recognized his rhythm. It was chaotic. Is it uh, one thing that Mickey Hart teaches? Oh, so anyone who knows Mickey Hart is that there's a rhythm to everything. Um, Indeed. Indeed. Um, so before I let you go, what, what are you up to these days? Are any exciting? Well, you're looking at it. I'm playing drums a couple hours a day, listening to music, playing guitar, singing. Um, and when I feel like I've had a productive day, I play Fortnite on my PS4 all night. <laughs> <laughs> but only after a productive day. You can go down the rabbit hole on that for a couple hours, too. Mm -hmm. But I enjoy video games. It, it keeps the executive functions busy for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how can drumming help the executive functions? Well, drumming, it, paying attention to a singular task and, and directing out all of our attention towards that task frees up our brain from stress and anxiety. When we can retrain or when we can recenter, refocus someone, that's what it's all about is to, is to refocus. If we, if we could change our perspective, we could change anything because it's all about our perspective. 
So one of our main goals in drum rhythm facilitator world is to get a group of people in front of us and change their perspective, even if it's momentarily, even if it's just for a little bit and someone gets shown a little glimpse of light and they, you know, like we try to be like the little spark that lights the fires in people, mm -hmm. you know, because we know it's not us, it's the doing, it's, it's mm -hmm. the actual performing, the actual playing of the drum is where the healing comes in. It's not the person, it's the doing. Mm -hmm. It's the actual hands-on experience of doing it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, I think we should leave it there. Uh, definitely. And so folks, try out some of the drum exercise that Joe showed us at the beginning. Uh, in the future, I hope to have Joe back for more drum exercises and maybe we'll get a few of you to join in on it. Uh, they have a much bigger drum circle here at Inclusion Tube. Joe, thank you so much for coming on the show. I hope you and your family are doing well. Uh, to the rest of you out there, stay safe. Find your rhythm in, in, this, in this pandemic because this too shall pass. Uh, all right, guys. This is Sippy. We're signing off. <laughs>